Hey crafty friends, I'm Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today we're going to talk about the Brothers Scan and Cut online software called Canvas. Some of you have asked me if I've used it, how do I import files, how do I manipulate things? Well, I've done a little video for you and I'm going to show you how I've used it. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and start right at the very beginning so you can see how I go through the screens. So here we are at the Scan and Cut Canvas URL. It's actually scanandcutcanvas.brother.com. It's really hard to remember, so I'll be uh, making sure that I add a link for that. So I've gone ahead and I am a member already. If you're not, you have to start up and um, you know give them your email address and get an account started, but it's free. I already have, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. So here we are at our opening screen. As you can see, um, it is kind of simplistic. It's not quite done loading yet, so I want to make sure I give it a moment to finish loading. Okay, yeah, it is. So you really have only one option here, and that's start something new. Oops, sorry, Java. We don't want you today. Thank you. So we're starting a new project, and that will take you to this screen. So, really, really basic software here. If you're used to the Silhouette, this is not the Silhouette um, software. But it's really great, I think, for beginning, uh, beginning users because you can't really mess it up. There's not too much that you can even do here. So let me first take you through these patterns because these are things that you can take and drag right onto your cutting mat. And as they appear here on the mat is exactly how they will cut. So in the basic category, what you get are shapes. And you can see here over on the side, you've got circles and ovoids and rhombuses and all kinds of great things that you can play with. Um, actually, there are quite a few, which is kind of nice. And let's say just for hoots and hollers, you wanted to take this starburst um, now I can take it and move it, you know, anywhere I want to on the cutting mat. So say, for example, you wanted to do some fussy cutting. You could place it in the middle, or you can put it down here at the bottom. And I can also resize it. I can make it fat and tall and play with it. You know, if I wanted to, I could even rotate it, although this shape doesn't really need to be rotated. But at least you can see what it does, okay? So I'm going to just kind of leave that right there. Now let's go back and take a look at the borders. You have a bunch of borders you can play with. You know, if I wanted to, I could take this and you know create a lovely 12 by 12 border right out, or you can shorten it up and put it on a card. Again, you can manipulate it any way you want. I'm gonna delete that because I really don't want that today. Then you've also got logos, and by logos, what they really mean are words. So here are pre-loaded words that you can use. You can see cousin, dad, family, for you, fun. So again, for example, if I wanted to, I could take this dad and make it a little smaller and then drop it right into my little Starburst design. And now when I go to save this, um, actually, it'll cut out the negative space and the positive space, which is really popular right now. So I'm going to leave that here for a minute. The last thing we have is text, and by text they mean fonts. And there's only a few of them here loaded in. I really don't know how to access more, but we're going to use this function actually in just a minute. So what if you have an image on your computer that you want to cut out? Maybe it's a graphic. What you can do is open up this image tracing window choose a file and I'm scrolling down I'm going to use this Emmet minifig just because that way you can see if we um, have it on the outline mode it will literally only trace the outline of it. If I do color I don't really know what it'll do. That's a good thing. Ooh, I don't know. Let's go back to outline because I know what that does. This is black and white so I don't think it would even work. So I hit OK. And there's Emmett, my minifigure, that again, now I can make bigger or smaller and use him as I like. 
Again, I'm going to delete him for now because I have one more thing I want to show you. I'm going to choose another file, and this time I'm going to come over here to Derby. My sister is a new Derby roller girl, and I want to cut this out for her and make it a vinyl to put on her car. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it. I'm going to open it, and I'm going to OK it. And now it shows up on my screen. Now, for some reason, it didn't do the word hit. But no worries, because I can go back to that text function, grab some text, and add that in myself. First, I'm going to get rid of the word text, and I'm going to put hit. I'm going to click off to select the whole area. I'm going to shrink it down. And now I'm going to move it right into the skate. Boom! I like it. So the last little thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put a border around this so that I can use the negative space as well as the positive space. And we go back to basic for that. Remember, that's where all of our shapes are. And now I'm going to add that shape in like so and draw a little thing around it. And there we go. So now what I can do is go ahead and download because really that's um, how we're going to get it from here online over to our scan and cut. So maybe just for the sake of having things be easy, I'll go ahead and get rid of all this. Notice I can delete even just the different sections, like so. We'll just save this dad one, and that's what we'll go ahead and use. Boom. Okay, so now I've cleared it, and this is basically what I'm saving. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And, oh, it shows me that I didn't title it. So what I really want to do is go back, put a title up here in the top. I'm going to call it Dad. And now I'm going to download it. So it shows me that it's a Dad file. And if I right-click on it, I save it as. And now it's showing me that here it's going to go into my USB, which is exactly where I want it to be. And here are some other files I've already made up. So let's save it. And now you can't see off screen, but it has saved and I'm ready to take my USB and go on over to the scan and cut. Now we're ready for the next part, getting it cut in our scan and cut. So I've gone ahead, I've turned on the machine, I've inserted my USB and now I'm kind of at this home screen. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and press pattern and then it's going to show me all the things that are already in there but I'm going to go ahead and go to saved data and this is saved on the USB. That's what that is. So now you can see some files on my USB and I can scroll down and here are some scan and cut files. So let's go back to that dad and there it is. So now all I have to do is get my mat ready and cut. I was just playing around with this image that I imported and I was wondering if I would be able to actually make it bigger or smaller. I didn't really realize when I was designing this, but this is about five inches and if I were to put this on the card, I would like it to be much smaller. So what I'm going to do is actually go on over so I can see the screen a little bit better and now how you see how it's highlighted the area. What I'm going to do is select this little button here on the side, it's like a little square with an up and down arrow, and I'm going to make this smaller. As you can see, there's a height and a width. So if I want to, I can hit minus and bring that down to about three inches and a bit. So it's actually just under four inches wide. And then I'm gonna hit okay, and then I'm gonna select Actually, let me separate it and get it out of the way and take my dad and do the same thing. So I'm now I'm going to make it smaller so it fits inside. Isn't this great? So this is, I, I'm really happy about this. 
because now what that means is that even if you import something and you don't quite like it, you can still go back, tinker with it a little bit more, and be ready to use it. Yay, Scan and Cut. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I really would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And also please subscribe to the channel. That way you don't have to wait for videos to go into blog posts. You'll know as soon as I upload them. Also, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I'll answer as many as I can and hopefully come up with some new ideas for the next set of videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.